Vlado, Vlado, kde máme obleky, Vlado? Máme ísť do najlepšie odnoteného bordelu, ja tam nepojem takto ako bezdomovec. Som ich vymenil za žetovi. Čo si vymenil? Za žetovi. Ne, ja to vyhrám naspäť, neboj. Tak my máme rozbehnutú bez driviu sériu, divákov to baví, máme ísť do bordelu dnes a ty predáš obleky? To sa máme vrátiť do minulosti naspäť a za zajebaný chodiť po najhoršie odnotených reštauráciách a hoteloch? Ah, so once again we have to find the worst reviewed hotel in a Slavic country thanks to this asshole. I just need to grab my laptop to go to TripAdvisor and find the filthiest place in Poland. Vlado, where do I have a notebook? So since we don't have a laptop, we have to use my phone to find the worst reviewed hotel in Poland. TripAdvisor app, Hotels Poland, sort by traveler ranked, and let's go to the last page to find the absolute worst reviewed hotel in Poland. No way! After eight episodes, we finally stumbled upon a place with a one-star rating on TripAdvisor. Attic Studio! Look at the price! 11 euros for one night for two people. I have a feeling we're about to have a very interesting, adventurous night here. Let's check the photos of this unique place. Um, not bad. The worst reviewed place. This is probably... Semen? Uh, is that a cigarette butt? Oh, it looks pretty nasty and on top of that 14 out of the 15 reviews are one star. Do I really want to read them? Oh. I'm surprised that the Polish hygienic organization gave this place a green light. There was blood on the walls, the smell was awful and we found pubic hairs on our sheets. Avoid this place to keep your sanity! I have never had an experience bad like this. I booked two nights in this place and unfortunately we didn't find the room I paid for. The room was very cold, the room was very bad and it seemed like a bunker more than a room we paid for. Plus my partner was claustrophobic and he didn't even reply to my messages when I reported to him. We had to go and book for another hostel because it was impossible to sleep there. The radiator wasn't working and outside there was minus 8! The room was smaller than the picture. It was not clearly that there is no elevator. Those who have a lot of luggage like me are screwed as you walk 5 floors on wooden steps with no help. There are local staff kind of housekeepers but I cannot communicate and don't smile when you stay or say hello. Just look at you very strange like what the fuck are you doing here? The only good thing about this place is the location. The staff bit. We had to beg for the code. He stayed in front and nobody answered the phone. Then the pictures from booking has nothing to do with the reality. It was horrible. The bed was made from a wooden box. The bathroom stinks and it's... Uh, according to these reviews, we need three things to survive a night at this place. Medication, guns and God's blessings. Oh, our outlook doesn't look very well. I really don't want to spend the night in this apparently disastrous place. But hey, it's 11 euros. It's a great deal. Let's go. Vladko, startuj, poď, ideme. Čo mám štartovať? No však naše auto štartuj. Jaké auto? No však naše auto, ty tupec. Záložný. A to jak sa máme presúvať po Polsku, ty trúbiroch? Ja neviem, pišta v Varšave je a tu tuningu je veterány staré. Tak možno nejaký žičo. Vytunený veterán? No. No dobre, tak vytunený veterán môže byť. Piči, Vlado, ty si ma zazapálil. Čo? Toto ja šoférovať nebudem! Zapálkar pojebány. Na cigáňu ja srdce dám. Ja som len cigáň. Peniazy nemám O bela čau, bela čau, bela čau, čau, čau Cigánsku hudbu Pre ľudí robím Starosti v okol nevnímam Po svete chodím Spôsob si plním O bela čau, bela čau, bela čau, čau, čau Vrát sa zabávam Pre ľudí spievam Za cigáňom ja srdce dám A very cold day in Warsaw today, which is bad news if the heating won't work. 
We're approaching the worst reviewed hotel in Poland, but so far nothing suggests it would be bad. Apart from other guests, we received all the necessary information to get inside, including the door number and the code, 15 minutes before our check-in time. Well, five stars so far. It should be right here. Yeah, this is it. Let's try the code from the yeah. email. 84. No, 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 no. Oh, only hostels code. Shit. Four. Hashtag. Oh. Nice. And now what? Hotel, yes. This hotel is located in the next stairwell. Please do not call here. Hostel. This is it. The next. Wait, right. Yes. Five stars so far. Mm. It smells uh, a bit funny here. Yes, this is ours. Okay, so it should be the fourth floor. There's a very, very weird smell here in this building. Like mold. Mold. Yeah, th this is like mold. Are we actually... Is there gonna be like a reception? This is it. The same so, again. Oh, the smell. But the... Hello? Do you speak English? Ukraina. Ukraina. Uh, this was supposed to be our room. I Four. Ah, Gesebe. Ah, okay, Gisebe. thank you so thank much. You. Spasiba. Is this the end of the episode? <laughs> um, I think it's time for MTV Crips. Hello, 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 MTV. Welcome to my crib, come on in. <laughs> so we have a microwave, we have a wardrobe, we have two chairs, a table, we have a lamp. Mmm, lamp, only one bulb is working, exactly like how many people in my family are working. <laughs> we have a sink, we have a mirror, mm, hello handsome. We have a fan, working, working. And we have a bed. Okay, that was it. Thank you for watching and remember, do drugs! Well, let's have like a non-sarcastic, comprehensive review of this incredible space. We're starting with, uh, with the microwave. I'm sure that you know microwaves. And if you don't know microwaves, let me tell you that uh, there's one important piece missing here. And that's like the, the round glass that you put the plate on. Let's see if, if it actually works. Let's just put a plate there. Oh, there are two. Look at this. Where are we supposed to eat on this? Fuck me. I'm about to throw up right now. It's definitely not working. Okay, and now what? It, it's not working. This should be like, there should be like a timer here. Okay, so I have no clue why the microwave is here. Weird flex, but okay. Uh, so we have an electric kettle here. Uh, I would probably leave out the word electric because it's not working. They left us one liter of free water here, probably as a gift. So um, we're very thankful. The electricity is not working here, apparently. There are no light bulbs here as well. So the only source of light is the sun right now. And uh, this only light bulb that's working. Yeah. So we have utensils. That's great. Dirty ones. Probably onion. 
Mmm, I love onion. This spoon is not dirty. Success. Oh, is it? Yeah, just a little bit. Come on, it's Eastern Europe. And these forks are. Shit, they're. They're so oily for some reason. Beautiful glass, just for one person. This seems kind of desperate. Like, if you leave a good review, they're gonna give you a 20% discount. So, you're not gonna pay 5 euros per person, but only 4 euros. Yeah, a chair, a comfortable chair. I hope I can sit here. Yeah, yeah, I can sit here and uh, smoke a cigarette. No, I cannot smoke actually. Smoking forbidden, penalty 100 euros, which is probably a monthly budget of all the people that are staying here. It's kind of cold. Uh, it's 20 degrees Celsius. So there is a mercury thermometer here. Mercury thermometers were banned in the European Union in 2009. Should I add something? Please, if the door is closed, uh, then what? Oh, look at this. Window slash door opening turns off the heating. Well, that's what I call Soviet technology. Apparently, the, the windows and doors are somehow connected to the heating. Or it may be a grammar error. Well, let's check one very important thing here. Uh, the Wi-Fi. I'm gonna be very surprised if the Wi-Fi actually works. Free Wi-Fi. Let's see if it works. Oh, connected. BBC works. Yeah, it works. Five stars. Let's see the bed. I want to see if the bed is comfortable. Yeah. Pretty comfortable. It smells like it smells like mold here in this particular place. Great for my respiratory system. Mm, mold. Is the water running? Yeah. Perfect. What can I say? It's five euros, so I guess that people who pay this amount of money, they they just need like a place to sleep. I suppose this is a place for for people that are in town, wandering in town till late evening and they just need a bed. And for that purpose, I think it works. Come on, it's five euros. What do you expect? Let's check out the bathroom. Oh, bathroom, yes. That's gonna be really interesting. nice you can actually block yourself what the fucking smell man oh it smells like shit yeah like fresh shit i think this is like the sewers this is not like somebody shed here because i haven't seen anyone in this hostel yet oh yeah hot water come on you can live with smelly bathroom for five euros Really? I'm washing my hands. Oh, there's soap. What a lovely surprise. Okay. In these harsh times of coronavirus, you need to wash your hands really properly. So like, like this. I'm not joking here. Then like this. Then your thumbs. And then uh, the points of your fingers. Like this. Alright, hot water, it's actually hot, well, <clears throat> my hands are washed properly right now, and uh, I would like to dry them. <clears throat> oh yeah, I just need to plug it in. for Soviet engineering. I'm so proud. Okay. This is the kitchen apparently. A working microwave and a working electric kettle. Is it working? Yes, it is working. Lockers here. 
And this is the end of the Hostel 18 rooms. Um, my, my only concern here, or my biggest concern here is, is the heating, because it's not that cold right now. And um, the email that we received says that the heating in our facility is automatically regulated. The normative, normative, normative temperature is maintained at 20 to 21 degrees Celsius. The automatic switch on the heater automatically. If you have any questions or comments, blah, 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 blah. Is it gonna be 20 to 21 degrees throughout the whole night and whole day? It's not that cold right now and we can survive that, but let me check the temperature in Warsaw right now. It's four degrees Celsius. It's gonna be minus five degrees Celsius at 4 a.m. So I really hope that it's regulated automatically, automatic, automatically, like the email says. This is gonna be a very interesting night. There wasn't much to do in the hostel, so we kicked back, entertained ourselves for several hours and prepared for the evening. It's 10 p.m. and uh, I'm very, very pleasantly surprised, to be honest. I just took a shower, the water was warm. The bathroom doesn't smell like shit anymore. I brushed my teeth. Everything was fine with the bathroom, no problems, and uh, it's not cold anymore. I turned on the heater about three hours ago, and let me check the temperature actually. It's 23 degrees. Yeah, the unhealthy mercury is saying that. We're about to go to bed right now. That's not gonna be pleasant because Vladimir has a history of snoring, like acute snoring. I stayed in hostels where you paid let's say eight or nine euros per night and you were in a room full of people that were drunk or smelly there was no warm water there and you couldn't sleep but this is much better there were some dirty dishes and uh, and if we had a problem i'm not sure how uh we would solve it because there's no reception but overall this is great for five euros in the center of a capital city i hope nothing bad happens during night apart from snoring of this guy we're gonna sleep and i'll see you tomorrow please don't snore see you tomorrow good morning it's 8 30 a.m and i'm so tired because this guy I've never seen someone snore like that. You need like a surgery or something. But uh, besides that, uh, the night was pretty pleasant. Jebe ti Vlado! Čo tu fajčiš, kokos? Budeš ti patiť pokutu, daj to do piče tu cigaretu. We would like to confront someone with the fact that this is the worst reviewed hotel in Poland, but we don't know who because there's no reception. And there's literally nobody in the hostel right now, not even the cleaning lady. So, uh, we'll figure it out and I'll let you know. So, since there's no reception, we have to call the number from our email that we received yesterday. If someone responds, we're gonna confront him or her with the fact that this is the worst reviewed hotel in Poland. And uh, we would like to know his or her opinion about the fact. Okay, let's try this. Oh, user busy. Okay, let's try it in five minutes. All right, seven minutes passed. Let's try once again. I think it's impossible to call this number. That's why, according to the email that we received, we can reach it only through a message. I guess we're gonna try to send them an email with uh, our questions and our confrontation and wait for the response. We're leaving, we have nothing more to do. No more rock, paper, scissors, although Vladimir would really love to play it again. Yeah, so let's bounce. We're gonna ask the cleaning lady if uh, if a text message is the only way how to reach the reception. That's like the last thing we're gonna do right now. Um, excuse me. Um. 
Da. Da? Da. Only Chicken. SM. Ok. Ok. Um. Okay. 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 That's it. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. So apparently, um, text messages and emails are the only way how to reach the owner, who is apparently also the receptionist. That's the last thing we can do. We're gonna try it. We sent the owner an email the very same day. We pointed out all the positives and negatives and asked what they thought about the bad rating. As of today, two weeks after, we still have not received any response. I would never say that Attic Studio is the worst reviewed place in Poland. Come on, 5 euros for one night in the city center, what do you expect, a palace? Okay, the plates and utensils were dirty, someone probably shut themselves in the bathroom and there was no reception, but if these are the only negative things you'd experience after spending just $6 for one night in a great location, then this place is rather a hidden gem than a disgusting hostel. Therefore, I'm giving the Attic Studio 3.5 stars out of 5. If you like this episode, hit the like button and let us know in the comments below what other worst places you'd like to see in the former Soviet Union. And we're not done with Poland yet, we just need coronavirus to f*** off. Till then, we're heading into a quarantine. Good luck world, we can do this.